Welcome to Tips for Clips. Today I'm going to give you all the tips you'll need to cut your own hair perfectly. I'm going to start with the number six in the closed position. That's the short position. And I promise I'm going to make this really simple for you guys. So I'm going to start with the six and go as high as I can, fading in my side hair into the longest hair on top. So this step is going to set the base for the rest of the haircut. So you want to make sure it's nice and smooth between the sides and the top. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm just combing and parting the longer hair on top. And I'm still going along with the number six as high as I can without really jeopardizing the hair that's on top. Really simple, nothing to it so far. Now we're going to go to the back. This is the part that a lot of people worry about when cutting their own hair. But don't worry, just follow my tips. Of course, if you have a three-way mirror, use it, but I'm going to show you how to do this haircut without one. Since you already used this clip on the right and left sides of your head, you know how high you're supposed to go. So you're going to go that high, and just under that height, you're going to stop. So that where you need to actually blend and fade, you can use a mirror in your hand. You see I'm holding one right now, and you can see exactly what needs to be blended. But other than that, that's the only part that you actually need to fade. The rest, you could just hack away in all different directions underneath that line. And here I'm using a number four, also in the closed position, the closed lever setting, that's the shorter setting. And I'm gonna go just under where I use the six. And it's okay that we're skipping a five, it's okay that there's gaps, because with these higher numbers, it doesn't really matter. It's gonna be smoothly faded regardless. And notice here how I'm curving my clippers up and out. Use this all throughout your fading. And don't worry, you can cut behind your ear without actually looking at what you're cutting because you know that you have to cut everything under there at this point with the same clip, the number four. So you can just cut behind your ear. You can even start cutting some of the back without looking at it at all. That's part of the trick to cutting your own hair. And you're just gonna do the same exact thing on the other side. And obviously your hair might already be shorter than mine is, so you can start with the four or you can start with one of the future steps with the lower numbers. And now I'm going to go to the back and do the exact same thing with this number four that I did with the number six. I'm just going to go up and I know approximately how high I need to go up because I just did it on the right and left sides of my head. So I'm just going to do the same exact thing and I'm going to go in different directions just because my hair grows that way. And now I can use the handheld mirror because I'm trying to fade in the hair from the 4 to the 6. So I'm just using the 4, getting rid of any lines I might see. And another thing I noticed, although I am a righty, I actually like using my left hand to hold the clippers and my right hand to hold the mirror because sometimes it's actually harder to hold the mirror where you need it so that you can see exactly what you're cutting. So this helps me it might help you to each their own. Now I'm using a number three clip, also in the closed lever setting, the short setting. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing. All the steps I'm just repeating really simply. With the longer numbers like this, it's easy, and you already see a fade beginning to form. I'm gonna bring my fade all the way down to a one on the sides, and I'm gonna bring it down to a zero in the back. But at any point, if you're satisfied with the length of your fade, you can just stop and jump right over to shaping up your hair and to trimming on top, which I will show you guys in a second. Again, the goal here is to cut with the three underneath where you cut with the four. We're gonna continue with the same method in the back. You're gonna start low, and because you've already done your right side and your left side, you know how high you're supposed to go, even without using mirror right now. Just make sure you don't go past where you went on the sides. And now that we're starting to get into lower numbers, the lower the number of the clip or the guard, the more careful you're going to have to be that you're blending it very smoothly. So now we're just using our up and out technique to make sure that it's perfectly blended between the three that I'm using now and the four that I just previously used. I just decided to trim and shape up my beard in the middle of a haircut. Um, I already have a video out on this, so I'll attach it, and you can click the link right at the end of this video. That's why I'm really fast forwarding through it here, it's not the point. But now I'm on a number two, and we're really getting into our fade now. The good news is, although it's a lower number, it's still the same exact steps. So you just want to stay under the number three. 
you don't want to go above where you went with the number 3. So I did say you don't really need to see behind your ear. The only reason I'm holding my ear here is because when you get to the lower numbers like 2 and 1, you're going to want to make sure that you're not going too high even behind the ear because the fade's getting lower and lower. So that's the only reason I'm doing that here. With the number 2 you pretty much just want to go right above your ear. That's about the level that you want to go. Uh, by your temples you can go a little higher. But in general, you want to go about to ear level. And that's what I'm doing here. When I go to the back, I know that I shouldn't really pass too much above my ear. So that I still have room to fade it afterwards when I use the hand mirror. But I want to point out to you guys, don't mind the cowlicks that I have at the back of my head. That's not reflective of the technique I'm using. That's just the way my hair grows. But I'm actually going to get rid of it by the end of the haircut. As tough as it may seem and as difficult a time as many barbers have with the back of my hair, I will get rid of it. But typically you won't have as tough a time as I will doing the fade in the back like this. Another tip for holding the mirror, try to keep it in one steady position and instead rotate your head as opposed to moving around the mirror just like I'm doing right here. And this just makes it easier because sometimes it's hard to relocate the mirror into right positions because of that reverse effect that mirrors tend to have. And I'm just making sure here that everything is smooth between the two and the three. We're almost done, just a couple steps left. Next what we're going to use is a number one. And this is going to be the first time in the haircut that you're going to put the lever in the longer position, the opened position. And I like just using the number one till the height of my ear without going above it. So right above my ear, I'm not going to cut anything. I'm just going to keep it at my temples and on my sideburns and fade it into my beard a little bit. You can tell the fades on the sides are coming along really nicely and it's really smooth and really simple. I didn't do anything too tricky and I'm sure you can get up to this point without a problem. Next, as you could expect, we're going to use the number one in the back. Here I'm going to start getting rid of my cowlicks and all the crazy hair in the back. That's why I'm going to go in all different directions. If your hair just grows straight down normally, then here you're just going to use the clippers in the same way you've been using them. You're going to face them upwards, but here I have to go downwards because my hair at the bottom actually grows upwards. So you always have to go in the opposite direction that the hair grows. And still, even with the number one, even though we're at low numbers and the fade is starting to look better and better, it's still not that difficult. If you follow the steps that I've been showing you, you shouldn't have too much room for error. When we start the shape up in the back in just a couple minutes, that might get a little bit tricky, but I'm still going to give you tips for that. But for now, just make sure that the fade is nice and smooth, and you can see that I know that I'm going to use the one at the bottom, so I'm not even using a mirror right here. And that's the freedom that you should feel. Of course you need a mirror to see what you're doing and to see your progress and to make sure that the fade is perfect, but you don't need it as often as you probably thought you did. So I already have a video out on how to give the perfect shape up, and I also have a video out on how to trim your beard, and in that I show how to shape up your sideburns as well. So I'm not going to spend too much time here, and I know that not everybody wants to do this, but it does make the haircut look a little bit cleaner. You just go straight across the top, and on the sides, you curve it into your beard. Of course, everybody's going to have different preferences, but I'm just throwing it in here for the sake of completion. This next step is what's difficult, and I've been saying everything has been easy until now. If you have someone to help you with this step, do accept that help. Otherwise, I'm going to show you how to do it on your own. First, make sure you get the mirror in the position that makes you see most clearly. But understand that the mirror has this effect where it makes you look like everywhere you're moving the trimmer, it's actually moving in the opposite direction. So give yourself a second for your eyes and brain to readjust because you just want to make a perfectly straight line along the sides as you see I'm making here. It takes a while, it takes patience, but all you got to do is get just these two straight lines. So get yourself comfortable, get yourself situated. This is pretty much the only difficult step and maybe the most difficult step of the whole haircut. Because after this, I'll show you that you won't actually have to make the straight line on the bottom. Only on the two sides do you have to do that. The last step to the fade 
is going to be tapering off the bottom of the fade. We're going to pretty much taper it off into a zero so that it looks like it just naturally fades into the rest of your neck. So it's a little tougher for me because you see that big line and all those patches of hair because of the way my hair grows in the back. So my point is if it works for my hair then it's going to be even easier for yours. So right now I'm using a number one still but the lever is closed so it's in the shorter position. And now I switch to a zero guard or clip and it's also closed. And as you can tell I'm all the way at the bottom of my hair. I'm just trying to fade it out into my neck so that it looks like it's a perfectly smooth transition and I don't have to worry about making a straight line with the trimmer at the bottom of my neck. Again, I'm going in all different directions, but you'll probably just have to go up and now you can see how nice the fade came out. For the top of your hair, you have a couple options. I like trimming it with scissors and all I do is run my fingers through my hair and see if anything is longer than the rest and I just trim that and that usually suffices for me. Your other option is to use the clippers and to use guard number 8. You could use that in the short setting, you could use it in the long. You have a lot of freedom. Uh, you could even do a 6 on top and it'll just fade right in. And that's it. You have all the tips you need to give yourself the perfect fade and haircut. Here's a reminder of what I used to look like. And here's the finished product. Hopefully you can do the same. If you haven't already, please subscribe, like and share this video. Check out some of my other videos right here. And I'll see you at the next video.